Greetings, unsettled souls. As Sam I B. Deganji. A little bit of correct views action as we go in, friends, to the massive Fukushima update. Now, I want to mention, as uh, I want to, ah, it always does that to me. I want to thank a lot of the people who have donated. Because as you can see, there's only one left. Just one dunce cap left. That doesn't look good. What's he doing on camera? Put that down before I get myself banned. Um, I think it's what happens when you work on the show by yourself. You uh, hold your cone on camera to start your show in questionable ways. I, really, Rudy Giuliani had that happen to him, and he's still dealing with it. Hey, anyway, I want to thank those who have uh, donated, and uh, it helps to mail those out. Uh, the other two have been sent. Uh, this show has been to D.C. this year because of you guys, literally. Literally. And again, I, I'm fine on money on a personal level, but I have to make the show pay for itself. If the show doesn't pay for itself, then there's no way that I can continue to go to all of these places. Even if I was rich. I, again, I, I, I'm fine, but I'm mean, Joe Average. But if I was rich, I still couldn't afford to do everything. So you guys that donate, it, it pays for all of this to happen, and I thank you very much for doing so. And uh, Speaking of uh, DC, it does tie into our first topic well as does my camera, falling from the setup that I have. Um, the election. Do you realize that those of us who are intelligent enough to be anti-nuke have absolutely no one to vote for in that regard? And I'm going to start the show with that, so go ahead, go ahead and stick with this topic for a second. The Green Party and the Democrats believe in the provable lie, yes, I said a provable lie, called man-made global warming. The reason that I say, uh, the reason that I call it a provable lie is for the same reason that among countless others, like the founder of the Weather Channel and Lord Moncton, over 500 United Nations scientists signed a letter stating that global warming was not a major concern and was most likely not caused to any significant degree from man. And out of all of the proof that there is the proof that global warming is a lie, uh, this is my favorite one. Because it can't be used as, but it's Trump, it's Trump pushing that fake science. I'm sorry, but the facts show that most of those scientists were not tied to the United States in any way. Again, it's the United Nations. Um, I like to use this example because of the sheer number of them. And the fact that almost all of them, actually all of them, have remarkable careers and have achieved a lot. You don't get to be a United Nations scientist by scratching off a lottery ticket. Okay? You don't. Of which I won, <laughs> I won 50 bucks on the Three Stooges lottery ticket. Which I never buy lottery tickets. I'm just a Three Stooges fan. So. But think about that. 500? Oh, they're tied to the, the oil industry. No. And many times, they're not tied to anything at all. Well, they were funded and paid to say that. No. They come from a wide variety of... Well, a, a very wide variety. Many different walks of life. Some were college professors. Some were, you know, studied in labs. Researchers, geologists, seismologists. Man-made global warming is a provable lie. I can look up... Type in 500 scientists that, that, that they signed this letter on the same day that Greta Thunberg spoke. Don't drop the thun thun. So, I mean, it's very easy to find what I'm referencing here. So the Democrats believe in that lie. And what they want to do is they want to open up nuclear power plants to combat the issue. Now, look up what routine releases are. And you will find that even when a nuclear... Listen to me on this. 
even when a nuclear power plant is running the way that it's supposed to, routine releases release carcinogenic substances into the air that cause cancer. There is no routine. It's like a, that's like saying a routine gunshot. We're going to drive through the neighborhood, and this really happened to me, by the way, you Facebook followers know. We're going to drive through the neighborhood, and we're going to, you know, shoot. It's a routine shot. Don't be afraid. That's what these routine releases do at nuclear power plants, and that is why cancers are up and have always been up in every community within, I forget that, I think it's within 10 to 20 miles of the nuclear power plant. People in my comment line were, were like, tick, 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 done, it'll tell me. Um, always higher levels of cancer near nuclear power plants. So then you would say, well, the Republicans would be wise enough not to do this. Unfortunately, Donald Trump, who I support, is pro nuke. That is to say that he's wrong. The good thing about Donald Trump is he doesn't like to hand out copious amounts of money to industries that don't make a lot of money. But he looks at it as just another form of energy. Obviously, he's blind to most of the facts which we cover on this show. And I, again, I think uh, I support Donald Trump. I think he's done a very good job. I, I'm happy for a great number of things, but he's wrong on nuclear power. And that leaves us with the libertarians. There's other parties, the Union Party, the Constitutional. Maybe, maybe one of them are anti-nuke, but I'm going over the big ones here. The Libertarian Party is the biggest third party in the United States of America. And this is what baffles me. Joe Jordanson, Joe Jorgensen, who is, her name is so confusing because there's Joey Jordanson, the drummer, and Al Jorgensen, the singer, and Al Jorgensen, the singer, is a radical lefty. And it is, it's a jumbled mess in your head. Okay, but anyway, um, Joe Jorgensen is rabidly pro nuke to the point where. I don't know that I could pull the lever for her even if Trump wasn't running. I'm not a one-issue voter, but she's so pro-nuke that it comes to the top of the list for me. And here's what baffles me about this. And I've used this example before, but uh, if anyone's heard it, let me know in the comment line where I'm going with this. Because chances are we, we have so many different listeners at so many different times that I, maybe you haven't heard it. Liberty says that I can smoke a bowl. And I, I'm talking about my duplex neighbor. My duplex neighbor in my real in real life is a very dear friend of mine, as is her boyfriend. So, it's fictional. I and my duplex, free to smoke a bowl. That's called liberty. Smoke a bowl. Smoke marijuana if I want to. Which I've done before. That's liberty. Doesn't affect her. Doesn't affect her in the least. Liberty does not say that I can open up a meth lab in the basement. Because if I do anything wrong tinkering, it blows up the duplex, puts her life in jeopardy, puts her things in jeopardy. That's not liberty. Nuclear power plants, as we just said, cause cancer when they are running properly. Therefore, building a nuclear power plant is counter to liberty. For the same reason that I just pointed out here. And God forbid they have a meltdown. And that's even more true. This is when they are running properly. So, you know, the, the meth fumes would still get over there even if I didn't blow the cellar up. And no, I don't smoke meth. I've never smoked meth. I have no meth lab in my basement. And my duplex neighbor is wonderful. But you know exactly where I mean. So what do you guys think? Well, what do you who are wisely anti-nuke because you know something about science and the real world... What do you think about this current election? There was nobody, nobody on the right side of this issue. Again, maybe some of the smaller third parties. If so, let me know. Uh, definitely let me know. 
Uh, moving on, friends. Again, you can donate at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. Fukushima water release could change the human DNA. Uh, this is what Greenpeace is warning. Contaminated water that could soon be released into the sea from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant contains radioactive carbon with the potential to damage human DNA environmental rights or organization Greenpeace has warned. Now the reason I want to mention this is we've shown in the past that both bomb testing and nuclear power plants have already forever altered the DNA of man. You can also find radioactive strontium-90, which of course by its very nature is radioactive, it's pinging cells and it's changing the DNA, so it's one and the same. Strontium-90 can be found in every man, woman, and child who has been born since the bomb testing. And, of course, there's higher levels of strontium-90 in the bodies of people who are born, or live, I should say, near nuclear power plants. The environmental group claims that 1.23 metric tons of water stored at the plant scene of the 2011 Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster. I'm talking quickly because I'm running out of juice. The storage space. I need a camera. Contains dangerous levels of radioactive isotope carbon-14 and other hazardous radionuclei, which will have serious long-term consequences for communities and the environment. Now, this is on top, on top of the damage that they've already inflicted. Um, Industry Minister Hiroshi uh, Kijayai. Kijayama said, in order to avoid the delay and decommission process of the Fukushima Daiichi, again, it's translated from Japan, so it sounds choppy, I'm not drunk, we need to make a decision how to deal with the processed water that increases every day, but acknowledge that the authorities needed to address voices of concern. In other way, he's saying, in order for us to pretend that we're able to shut this down, we need to throw the water into the ocean even though this could have a serious effect on health. Um, in the report released Friday, a Greenpeace uh, said that the water, in addition to radioactive isotope tritium, contains radioactive isotope carbon-14. Now let's pause. Tritium cannot be taken out of water, for one thing. Contains radioactive isotope carbon-14 which is a major contributor to collective human radiation dose and has the potential to damage human DNA. Sean Burney, author of the report, another source and senior nuclear specialist with Greenpeace Germany, told CNN there could be as much as 63.6 gigabecquerels of carbon-14 in the ranks. Hey Google, how big is a Giga Becquerel? On the website funder.com, they say it is also known as Giga Becquerels. Giga Becquerel has a dimension of T1 where T is time. It can be converted to the corresponding standard SI unit BQ by multiplying its value by a factor of 1 billion. 1 billion as a multiple. And each one of those is a reaction inside the human body that lasts forever that can cause cancer. They go off once per second. Forever, once exposed. And in this case, it would be how many of those reactions per billion. Those will get into the fish, we will catch the fish, and guess what we eat? No, they do not die in the fish. The radioactive half-life continues to live on. These together with other radionuclides in the water, which they could not get out with their cleaning process, will remain hazardous for thousands of years with the potential to cause genetic damage. It's one more reason why these plants have to be abandoned, he said. Um, a spokesman for TEPCO told CNN, who I don't really trust, but the other sources here checked out. I wouldn't give you CNN without checking it. They're definitely not trustworthy by themselves. I get it. Uh, he said that the concentration of carbon-14 contained in the treated water is about 2 to 20 becquerels per liter. That is not good, Fred. They've been looking to do this for a minute, too. And if people don't stand up and prevent them, then they're going to go ahead and continue to do it. That's 
why I do this show. That's why I ask you to hit share. Because this goes out to a lot of people, and I, I end up hearing from people in other countries and crazy stuff all the time. So, hit share, because you never know what ideas are going to get to what people wear. And the more people that educate themselves on this, the more people that tend to side on the, uh, on the side of intelligence and reason. Um, listen to this here, uh, The Guardian, a Fukushima nuclear disaster preventable, the court rules, with more damage claims likely. Now, of course it's preventable, because we know that before the plant was ever built, Scientists said that the ocean was going to produce a, an earthquake the size that we had. They said a nine. And that it would create a tidal wave that would overwhelm the nuclear power plant. And when they say today that it was an act of God that could not have been uh, predicted, it was predicted. It's a matter of public record that it was predicted by the scientists who are now warning about the same thing in Iran, which is why Trump is right on that issue. Um, even if he doesn't know it. Uh, the Japanese court has uh, found uh, that the government and TEPCO, the operator of the wreck of Fukushima nuclear plant, negligent for failing to take measures to prevent the uh, 2011 nuclear disaster and ordered them to pay $9.5 in damages. And that brings us to... Oh, wait a minute. You didn't even know they tied together, do you? I hear something. I hear something in the distance. It could be the dumdy of the day. Why? Why? Did you, did you just hear what I said? 9.5 million dollars? You are an idiot. going to let the you are an idiot play for a minute while I let this sink in. New York Times. Japanese government is ordered to pay damages over Fukushima disaster. $9.5 million according to the country's Supreme Court. That's the price of a Super Bowl ad. They got fined a mere $9.5 million. Your average crappy talentless radio hip hop star like Drake has more than $9.5 million probably in this couch. That's all they got fined for a lifelong problem on planet Earth. For as long as Earth exists, this will be a problem. It has forever changed human DNA. It will raise cancer rates throughout the rest of history. If it was to topple within the next 30 to 35, 40 years to when they get it torn down, it could be an, an extinction event. It could quite possibly render the entire northern hemisphere uninhabitable, depending on how it happened. And they got fined only $9.5 million! Friends, share the video. That's all I can say. Get the word out. Let other people know what's going on, friends. And if you'd like to support what I'm doing, you can do so at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. Make sure you're here Friday. The Dunce Cap of the Month Award is going to be something that you will not expect. And it's probably going off earlier in the uh, afternoon hours of Friday. No, it's not the characters. Ever since... Everything went the way it did. I know. But I've got something nice planned for you. All right, friends. Hope to see you then. Good night. God bless.